Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to English online class. Today, we will be talking about reading America's most famous actress in Unit 4, Somewhere to Live. I'm Wanna. I'm a teacher of English at Great Leap New Generation School. Let's just look at lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to skim the text in order to get general information, scan through the text in order to get specific information, define new vocabulary properly, use is there an idea to make sentences with short answers. So now let's just look at the previous lesson. In last week's lesson, we studied about demonstrative pronoun and article. So what is demonstrative pronoun? Demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that represents a noun or express its position as near or far. And there are four words in demonstrative pronoun. This, that, these, and those. Let's just look at a recall. What is a recall? A recall is a word or adjective that is used to modify noun. And it is classified into two parts, which are indefinite and definite. Indefinite article contains a on, earn, and definite article consists of the. Let's just look at the new lesson. Our today lesson is reading America's more farmer address. Let's just look at vocabulary. Private home. Private home is a house or home that is only for one person or group and not for everyone. In short, we say the action. So let's just look at the example all together. The White House is a private home for U.S. President. Birthday party. What is birthday party? Birthday party is a party to celebrate someone's birthday. Chẳng birthday party nên cứ bà tha vị thi chụp liêng thay khu cầm nạt bà. Let's just look at the example below. I will celebrate a birthday party for my sister. Wedding. What is wedding? Wedding is a marriage ceremony. Chẳng wedding cứ cái bà tha chia vị thi mừng cuộc cá rồi có vị thi à bè bè bè. Do you know her wedding's day? Let's just look at another new word. Gowan. Gowan is to control and direct public business of a country, city, or groups of people. Nhưng Gowan nâng cư yên phá thà cụp cụm. Myanmar has been governed by military regime. Nhưng bây yên phá vinh. Guess. Get is a person who is staying with you or a person you have invited to a special occasion such as a party or a meal. In short, we say new in Khmer language. Just guess when the party is new. Example, she has invited 1,500 guests to her wedding. Staff. Staff is a group of people who work for an organization. Staff is a group of people who work for an organization. There are over a hundred staff in our school. 
chẳng nó không xóa dưới nó miên bốc lập chiêm rồi nè live elevator in the US live in UK a small room which carries people or girls up and down in the tall buildings chẳng live or elevator nó pra tha chả đào dân there is a lift in the building Tennis court. Tennis court is a rectangular area that tennis is placed on. Jung tennis court is a good line that can lay tennis. Thank you, tennis. Okay. Let's just look at example. Do you like to play tennis in the weekend? Let's just look at the pictures. You see a fire. You see wood. Okay. It is called fireplace what is fireplace fireplace is a space in the wall of a room for a fire to burn in or the decorated part that surrounds this space chẳng fireplace nó được cái lại anh để cái cái đợt đợt lớn nó nó sẵn tha kia rồi còn nó à kia kì Bạn ta nếu cứ chỉ cảm đợt lương cũng đau rồi còn lùm o thì We usually stack some wood next to the fireplace Chẳng dương chỉ tu tứ, sự tốt dương chỉ thoa mà đá cứ cô cùng nổ ốc Nó chật ạc lệnh, lệnh kỳ đợt lương và fireplace Let's just look at the pictures What it is So it is called curtains Curtain is a piece of material especially cloth that hangs across a window or opening to make a rooms or parts of a room dark or private in short in khmer we say wang nuan the curtain can block the sunlight into the house let's just look at the pictures you see a man is Walking, probably walking or jogging on a track. This is called jogging track. Jogging track is a path for jogging. Chẳng cứ kì pra tha đôi chì plâu rư gò chì lên xâm rạp đại dương rốt rư gò dương đôi chì rốt rư gò đào lưu nâng và nâng kì khó a jogging track it has a jogging track in my school look at this beautiful pictures what is this it is billiard room what is billiard room billiard room is a room in which you can play billiards okay billiard nâng cư đôi bì dìa chàng lên bọc bì dìa lên ấy nâng there is a nice billiard room in my house. Here, it is very common and popular game in Europe or in the US. We call bowling alley. Bowling alley is a building in which you can go bowling or the narrow track along which balls are rolled during a bowling game. Chẳng bowling ở lý nâng cư đuổi ở kia thì hào thật bọc bọc đông bọc rồi bọc bọc đua lắm. Ok. Bà I like to go bowling. Ok. Đuổi dì dương khinh nhu rụp hiếp nâng cư kì bọc đuổi chì bọc bao lâu mùi để bọc à bình bóng tụi tụi xó xó nâng ở đua lên chân tay. Hay kì miên chua chì chua chì chua kì bà. Let's just look at the pictures there are four pictures okay so look at the pictures of the white house chẳng những đang ai white house cứ bà tha sẽ tạo vụ miền bà what can you see there are four pictures okay and then look at the answer the outside of the building of park area around it you see this is the park this one uh, with the u.s pledge visitor queuing to see the white house and you can see this one 
a lot of people are in line in order to visit the White House. And then you can see the old image of the White House from the 19th century. Jang yang ke kain rupiah moitir ke setak umian yang ke nasi satu batin ampo no. And the last one, the president office, or we call Oval Office. Many times, the car is light, but the thing is that they are not cheap. Okay, how the car is light, poor people. Oval Office. Okay, so let look at this reading and just go through it. You know, this one we call scheme or scam. We call scheme the take. Just go through it very quickly. Okay. And in order to uh, answer the question, you know why you need to scheme and scan the text? Because sometimes you don't need to go very detailed for the text. You just go very quickly in order to get um, general idea from the text. You don't need to go to the text and read uh, in detail in order to get specific one. Just go to get a general idea you need to go very quickly okay so let's read along with me in the white house 1600 pennsylvania avenue washington dc is the most famous address in america it is where united states the president works but it is also his private home where he lives with his family. He has children but birthday party, holiday dinners and weddings in this world famous building. The building uh, first built in 1800, the White House is where the President of the United States governs a country of 50 states and 304 million people. He lives with his family on the second and third floors. There are 16 bedrooms, a living room, a kitchen, and a dining room. Special guests stay in the Queen's bedroom or Lincoln bedroom. In the West Wing are staff offices, the president's own office, the old wall office is also there. It has three light windows behind the president's desk. And there is a fireplace at other ends. Each new president chooses new curtains, new furniture, and a special new carpet. There are pictures of all presidents on the wall. And there is the farmer's desk, a gift from the British Queen Victorious in 1880. The White House day by day. The White House is open to visitors. It is free. About 6,000 people a day visit. The president meets special guests in the East Room and he talks to journalists in the press room. About 150 people work for the president in the West Wing and for the First Lady in the East Wing. Another 100 people look after the building day and night. There are 132 rooms, 35 bedrooms, 5 kitchens, all one 6 floors. There are 3 elevators. The state dining room is big enough for 140 guests. Outside, the gardens grow fruit, vegetables, there is also a tennis court, a jogging track, a swimming pool. Inside, there is a movie theater, a billiard room, a bowling alley, and a library. As former President Reagan said, the White House is like an eight-star hotel. So now let's just look at our questions. Number two, what do you know about the White House? Do you think these statements are true or false? One. The White House is more than 200 years old. Two. No one lives in the White House. Three. All the rooms are government offices. 
four. The Oval Office is where the president works. Five. The White House is open to the public. Six. There are a lot of things for a president to do in his free time. So now let's just look at the answer all together. Number one, it is true. The White House is more than 200 years now. Number two, no one lives in the White House. Four, there are a lot of people there, 250. All the rooms are government offices. Wrong. Number four, the old world office is where the president works. Right. The White House is open to the public. Right. There are a lot of things for a president to do in his free time. Right. Answer the question. There are nine questions. One, the White House has two uses. What are they? Two, where exactly in the White House does the president live? Three, where does he work? Four, where do special guests stay? Five, what is in the Oval Office? Six, what does each new president change? Seven, how much does it cost to visit the White House? Eight, how many people work in the White House? Nine, what can the president do to relax? Let's just look at the answers. One, it is his workplace and his private home. Number two, on the third and second floor. Number three, in the Oval Office. Number four, in the Queen's bedroom or Lincoln bedroom. Number five, three light windows behind the president's desk and a fireplace at the other end. Number six, new curtains, new furniture, and a special new carpet. Number seven is free. Number eight, 250 people, 150 work for president and the first lady, and another 100 people look after the building day and night. Number nine, he can play tennis, go jogging, go swimming, watch a film, play billiards, and go bowling. Find the numbers in the text. What do they refer? 50, 104 million, 6,132, 35, 5, 6, and 140. Let's just look at the answers. 50 refers to 50 states. So there are 50 states in the US. 104 million refers to the population in the US. 6,000 refer to the number of people visit the White House each day. 132 refers to the number of rooms in the White House. Certify the number of bedrooms in the White House. Five refer to the number of kitchens in the White House. So there are five kitchens in the White House. Six, the number of floor in the White House. There are six floor in the White House. 140, if remember, it refers to the guests that can go in the state dining room or can stay in the state dining room. Ask and answer the question about thing in the White House, which is there or are there. A cinema, many offices, a swimming pool, a library, any elevators, a tennis court, a witch table, garden. Okay. So now, number one, is there a cinema? Okay, you can make like this. And number two, because you see offices, so we should say, are there many offices? Number three, 
Is there a swimming pool? Number four, is there a library? Number five, are there any elevators? Number six, is there a tennis court? Number seven, is there a vegetable garden? So let's just look at the answers. Number one, yeah, there is. Number two, yes, there are. Number three, yes, there is. Number four, yes, there is. Number five, yes, they are. Number six, yes, there is. And number seven, the last one is, yes, there is too. Match a verb with a place and put answers in the answer box. Verb, place, and answer. So, let's just go to verb box. One, cook. Two, sleep. Three, have a shower. Four, relax. Five, eat. Six, work. Seven, read. Eight, grow with table. Let's just look at place. A bedroom. B, office. C, dining room. D, living room. E, garden. F, kitchen. G, bathroom. And H, library. So let's just match it together. Number one, F. Cook in the kitchens. Number two, sleep. A. Sleep in bedroom. Number three, have a shower. G. In bathroom. Four, relax. D. Living room. Five, eat. Eat in dining room. Number six, work, work in office. Seven, read. Read in library. And the last one, grow with stable. E in garden. So my teaching is coming to the end and I believe that all of you will get a lot of new knowledge about this lesson. Don't forget to do the quiz in Google Form as well as to copy the lesson and send it to me as soon as possible. So thank you so much.